morning, everyone. So today I want to do um, basically a fails video, <laughs> things that just don't work for me. Um, and hopefully in that respect, I'm hoping that it will help you as well. Um, my hair is long. It goes down to the middle of my back and I keep it that way most of the time until it gets really dead and I have to chop it off. But most of the time it's down to the middle of my back. It is colored um, and it's naturally very wavy, like beachy waves. The ends are very dry, it's very frizzy, um, I find I have to use a lot of like masks and oils and things like that to keep it looking great and not feeling super dry. And I'm not even that hard on my hair. I tend to wear it up a lot so I don't have to straighten it or curl it or anything like that. But I have, um, I have literal bins of products that I'm not using because I don't like them. And I finally went through everything and I organized it into things that I like and I actually use and things that I don't like and I have an entire container of things that I don't like. So, let's get started. Um, let's start with hairsprays since I have the most of those. So, the first one is this Mark Anthony True Professional Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Sulfate Free Volume and Shine Hairspray. Shields against frizz and humidity, fast drying with extra hold, infused with keratin. This is what it looks like. Now I don't remember how much I paid for any of these. It's been a long time since I bought new hairspray. I found one that actually works, so that's the one that I've been buying. However, I tend to use it when I wear my hair straight to try to keep the frizz down, but it really doesn't work that well. Like, it makes my hair more sticky than flowy, and when your hair is down and it's straight, you want it to still move, but not like get frizzy or kinky or anything like that. So, I mean, I'm going to finish this, but it's not something I'm going to repurchase ever. Okay, next I have Salon Style Total Hold Hairspray. So I have absolutely no idea where I got this from. I think it's about half gone. I don't remember why I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I have the Chi Enviro 54 Hairspray Natural Hold Paraben Free. This is like mostly full and the reason is I really don't like the way it smells. It's also pretty sticky. I used it to like make my hair smooth without baby hairs on this side and it's, yeah, it's pretty sticky. I don't like the smell. I don't like the smell at all. Um, I also have this L'Oreal Paris Studio Line 24 Hour Finishing Spray Soft Touch Booster Shine. It says that it has a hold level of 4. Um, I don't like the smell, in all honesty. So, it's pretty much full. This um, Joico Joy Mist Medium Styling and Finishing Spray is pretty much completely gone and the reason being is because it is the best out of all of the hairsprays that I've tried in the last few years. Um, so I was still using it but it was very sticky. My hair would um, kind of be crunchy when I was done and that was even with just a little bit of spray and like it gets super super gunked up up here. So I just have to clean that off before I use it but I will finish that. There's only a couple applications left. Um, this Dove Damage Therapy Extra Hold Hairspray with natural movement, conditions while you style. Literally, my favorite hairspray of the last several years. However, Dove has changed the formula, and they don't sell this kind anymore, which is why I tried from the dollar store. But the nozzle on this one's broken, so it being droplets, it doesn't actually, like, spray nicely. So this one's going in the garbage, but this is my favorite one. I like the smell. When I wear my hair curly, it holds the curl really well. I can still run my fingers through it. It doesn't make it frizzy or anything. Um, when I wear my hair straight, it makes it so that it doesn't get all um, frizzy and it still keeps it separated. I really, really liked this hairspray. And the new formula has an awful smell. Like, I'm sure it is a nice smell, but if you're sensitive to smells, you don't want a really strong smell. You don't want you know, a chemically smell. This, like, smells like the, the original deodorant. I mean, I really like it. And I'm just devastated that I can't get it anymore. As you can see from all the other ones that I've purchased in the last few years. Okay. So I have two more. 
Um, I tried this Garnier for just Hold and Flex Ultimate 24 Hour Control Spray with Natural Bamboo Extract. It is a hold of five. It's about three quarters full, so I'm guessing that I didn't like the smell. This one is Nexus New York Salon Care Comb Through Touchable Hold Finishing Mist. That's all it says. I don't like the smell. It's pretty much completely full. So thankfully I have found a hairspray that I like. It's not one that I like as much as the Dove, um, but I do really like it. And I don't have one with me because it's in my bathroom. So, if we move on now to leave-in conditioners, I have had a time with these as well. Um, there's actually some that I've thrown out that, I mean, they worked fine, but they weren't wonderful. So this is AG Hair Care Conditioning Mist Detangling Spray Moisture, is what it's called. And it's got this funky kind of trigger here. Um, it's supposed to detangle and do all these lovely things, but... It doesn't do anything for my hair. It might detangle a little bit, but I don't really like the smell, and there's a lot of other ones that I've tried that are better than this. Um, speaking of, this is Live Clean Exotic Nectar Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It replenishes with argan oils. 96% plant-derived. Phthalate-free. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Paraben-free. As you can see, um, there's not very much left, so I'm guessing that I've used it quite a bit. This is the kind that it separates, so the oil sits above the cream, or the cream, yeah, the cream sits above the oil, and then you mix it together. But I will use that up. There is another one that I found that I like a lot more than that, though. Um, I also have Herbal Essences Long-Term Relationship Leave-In Split End Protector for Long Hair with Fusion of Red Raspberry Satin. Now I really do like the smell of this. Um, it's like a thick cream and I'm pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much brown. It's just like a thick cream. And I would use it in the ends of my hair. I haven't been using it recently though, so I'll finish that up. I also have Lush's R&B Hair Moisturizer, a rich leave-in moisturizer to revive and balance dry or curly hair. I have both-ish. Um, you just rub it between your fingers and smooth into freshly washed hair. Honestly, I hate the smell. I hate it. I've tried really hard to like it because it's, it's not like it's a bad smell, but it's just wearing it all day and my hair can't do it. And it's fine to use it up, but I can't. I can't get past the smell. I can't do it. So for mousses, I have Downer to Naturals Fruit Kicks Modifying Mousse, Maximum Holds Pomegranate, and Sweet Grapefruit. I loved their hair shampoo and conditioner when they had this line out. I don't even know if they have it anymore. I think I looked for it a few times and I couldn't find it. But I really like the way this smells. As in mousse, I feel like it doesn't do anything. It's almost empty, so yeah, I'll probably just use that up. Um, let's do it with something that I actually enjoy. So... I've been really looking for a new hair oil. I really like to use hair oils in my finished hairstyles um, to really make them shine and soft and not get really tangly because my hair tends to get very tangly. Um, so my original most favorite hair oil was this Anecto Pure Coconut Oil Shine Enhancing Glossing Spray. as gloss and shine to hair and it has been a long time since I've been able to find this. There is the tiniest tiniest bit left, and I'm so sad. I've been trying to find a replacement for it for a long time. Um, I went on the website, and I thought that this was the same thing, just new packaging. Um, it's an Ecto Naturals with organic coconut oil, divine shine coconut hair oil, but it is a pump style, not a spray style. I want the spray style, not the pump style. So, I went on the Sephora website trying to find something similar. Um, this one did get good reviews. This is the Kendi Oil Dry Oil Mist. Strength, flexibility, sustainability, bamboo smooth, free of parabens, and synthetic color. This, it has a smell to it that I'm not like super crazy about, but it doesn't give me a headache, and that's the problem with like all of these.
Ray's hair is Ray's giving me just a awful headache. I can't deal with this mom. Um, this I've used a few times. There's not very much gone. It just doesn't do the same thing. I don't know if it's because it's a dry oil. This one doesn't say if it's dry or not. But it just, it doesn't do the same thing. It makes my hair really shiny, but it doesn't seem to moisturize my hair like this one did. So I'm really torn. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll keep using it because it kind of sort of works, but it doesn't do what this one did. And that makes me very sad. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about is dry shampoos. And oh my god, I have been through so many dry shampoos. And I haven't even found one that I like. Um, I used to use powder, the powder one by Lush. Um, I think it was like a lime scent. I really liked that one, but it was difficult to work with because it was powder. I've had other like spray dry shampoos, and I just... I'm not a happy camper when it comes to dry shampoos. Most of them have way too much of a smell. They don't work in my hair, etc., etc. So these are two that have way too much of a smell, and they do not work in my hair. So this is the Aveeno Active Naturals Pure Pure Renewal Dry Shampoo. Sulfate-free, refreshes hair without water, all hair types. So you're just supposed to shake it and spray it like in your roots and let it sit and then rub it in so that it absorbs all the oil. I wore this the other day and I had an awful migraine because of the smell. My hair was just three days from the last time I washed it, it was the third day. So I sprayed it in, you know, hoping to get like some roots, um, it, to clean up the oil. I wore my hair in this nice side braid and I could literally still see all of the oil in my hair and it was still disgusting. And I should have just showered, this stuff is gross. I am just, oh, gross. Okay. Um, this one is the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo Volumizing Dry Shampoo for Fine Oily Hair. Absorbs oil in order between washes. Leaving hair clean and manageable. This one I do believe works better than the Aveeno because I use it often when I'm doing hair for photo shoots that need a lot of volume. Personally, I cannot handle the smell in my hair all day. So that's why I use it on other people. Um, so it does work, it does volumize, but it's just, it's not for me. I need a dry shampoo that has like no smell or like a really light smell or something like that. So that is officially everything in this bin. There are some things I'm going to try to use up, but for the most part, I'm just going to be throwing things away. I can't deal with the smells of them. They don't work the way that I need them to, even when I'm on photo shoots and stuff. I'm not grabbing any of these. Basically, they're just taking up space and collecting dust. Like, literally, I brush these things off because there was a layer of dust on them that's been so long since I've used them. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am hoping to do um, a favorites for hair products. Um, I did separate everything, so I've actually got that all good to go. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day.